So what's up, though? Fun fact. So today, got a really quick um, Pokemon video. I want to do really quick. So we got the full Darkest Day or Dark, yeah, Darkest Day arc coming up. It's a three-part episode arc. Dig over everything, do the whole arc and stuff like that. Um, it's three episodes long, so the next review will be the next episode, and after that, it will be the next one. So I will try to upload this video maybe Sunday, because time for recording for me is Friday. Um, not night, but evening. Um, for me right now, it's Friday evening. So, um, hopefully I have this video done, probably by, um, Sunday m morning, maybe? I should have it done probably by Sunday night, slash Sunday morning. So I have a video out and ready for you guys, so I can um, upload it and stuff like that for you guys. So yeah. Um, again, we got some pretty good stuff right here for the Darkest Day arc. Um, the episode starts off, you know, with not so cherry opening with the, um, of course, the two low key main villains of the game. I'm pretending. I don't know. I don't know the names yet. I saw them just want to show the game myself. But yeah, of course, we have the full, um, introduction of these, um, oh, you know, the new characters stuff like that coming into the series. So yeah, we got lots of new stuff. I'm hot because for me, it's hot right now where I am. So yeah. Um, we got some pretty good stuff right here. So yeah. Oh, uh, of course, we got some um, good stuff showing up in the episode. Um, we got some di um, Gigantamax stuff going on in the sky. Of course, you know, Pokemon Arena was starting to grow Gigantamax in the area. Of course, we got, um, you know, little opening and stuff like that. Of course, you know, Ash and Gorge is looking up and stuff like that. Can't wait for a day. And of course, Ash is um, Gigantamax can start to glow randomly out of nowhere. Um, so yeah, um, just, just going up out of nowhere. So again, can be Gigantamax energy around it. Just like the, um, you know, Leo and um, Lance fight that happened. I'd should have reviewed the episode, but it's like, eh. Doesn't really matter. Of course, you know, they didn't fucking back to stuff like this, of course. Um, and of course, they didn't explain the Gigantamax stuff, you know, they're randomly going on in this region. So, I guess how it applies to Ashy Gigantamax band has been all crazy. Um, of course, they're starting to go and investigate stuff in the Gala region. So, yeah, of course, that's what they probably off to. Um, so, yeah, again, through part episode arc and stuff like that. Of course, you know, Ashy don't go on the train. So, discovering what's going to go on in the episode. So, yeah, typical stuff for Ashy. Um, of course, they meet the Gala region professor, Sonia's um, grandmother. Um, you know, um, we already pretty much know all stuff already. Or if you do the channel and stuff like that, there you go. So yeah, um, I think it's Snorlax they run by. I think they saw it, so, yeah. I have to see some frame stuff. So yeah, of course they found Karen Bumblebee, you already know Ghost gonna catch it and stuff like that. Um, of course Pokedex is playing and going over it, so you already know Ghost gonna catch it. Um, so yeah, we got that. Of course, um, I think they um, start to chase down after it and they start to, they start to get, um, kind of separate it in the horse. Go to the parts of kind of the gallery region. So yeah, go just catch it. So yeah, it's good. Um, like you're right, right, like me right now, the Pokemon games. Oh, look at the whole Pokedex built from um, Ultra Moon. So, so I was going probably probably down most. So yeah, I'm just going through some Pokemon stuff. Because my friends are trying to do it. So I was more or less just capping that joint too. I've been the right. So yeah, plus as you go kind of get separated and start to go to the forest, start to see a little weird mysterious mist on them. Um, of course, it's um, Zacon or um, Z Zacon. I don't know how to pronounce his name just yet because, of course, when I first when I hear it, um, or Zayden, or probably going to pronounce it, but yeah. Um, it is leg leg legendary Pokemon for Sword. Um, for Pokemon Sword. But they don't know the on it because they don't know anything about it just yet. Uh, of course, my boot starts to, um, of course, go, starts to encounter um, another similar Pokemon, just like the Ashes, Zamazeta. I think that's how it's pronounced. Um, yeah, Robbie starts to um, discover it kind of a little bit, so yeah, starts to go through it a little bit more, and there's no data on Pokemon. So yeah, of course they're gonna battle it, like it was basically teased in the, um, what do you call it, the, um, 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 promotional, um, posters and stuff like that. I just was one on Instagram, but I can't really find it anymore, so yeah. Of course they start to battle it and go over like we in the trailer, so yeah, of course you already know um, animation of course you're in the light. So it's probably gonna try to catch it, but of course it obviously fails, like, usually. Those with Pokemon and stuff like that. So yeah. So it just disappeared in the mist. I guess like a boarding being yeah, okay, so it was kinda of like a dream fever dream thing. So um start to kind of wonder what's gonna go on. So I guess it's like kind of a warning message on what's going on, um what's gonna happen and stuff like that. Of course, you know, as you go kind of get separated unfortunately though. So yeah, of course they had like, kind of a fever dream. Of course I think Rotunda doesn't really recognize it because it's just a wolf fever dream thing. So of course go goes out in the forest, um sees like Animax dream slash lines in the air. Of course only's gonna investigate because of her grandmother and stuff like that. Of course we yeah. Um, but of course, Go goes with Sonya, then of course, Ash, um, except for Miss Fever Dream. Um, so I to go to the floor, trying to find Go, but unfortunately get lost. But it finds a way through, um, Gallery Region City, where, um, a Santa Crunch, Santa Bee, Santa Bee Crunch, Santa Crunch, blah, 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 um, with the, um, with the strainer, and of course, start to go to Gigantamax because of the, um, random, you know, currents that's going on in the region. So yeah, um, pretty much there. Yeah, have to send right buildings and stuff like that. Of course, you already know what's going on. Random Pokemon starting to, um, go to Gigantamax, goes to the you know. Air and stuff like that, the whole stream of air and stuff like that, of course. Um, so yeah. Oh, I know I'm sweating right now. I'm gonna wait till the video is done because whew, I'm hot. Um, then of course, you know, I start to um, bring up on it. So yeah, um, after that, I start to go through it with the Pokedex information. So yeah, pretty much there. Um, then of course, Ash, you know, if you could try to to stop it. So yeah, I know I had to roll the voice and stuff like that, of course. So yeah, um, 
as typical stuff. So yeah, Riolu, of course, Dragon Knight, I think, pops in a little bit later from the images I saw. So of course, you know, um, Ash, uh, Pikachu, Ash, Riolu are trying to stop it from going on Rampage, destroying the whole city and stuff like that. So yeah. Um, after that, um, yeah, Dragon Knight pop, 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 pops up and, of course, Riolu. Um, and then it starts to use hidden um, center crunch, starts to use um, hidden power or center suit crunch on uh, it. I do like kids like if center P like semi armor like look for it. I think I went over in my full breakdown video for every sort of joke Pokemon. But it's been a man though, so yeah. Um I'm actually swinging up a little bit. Give me a second. Ooh, what is that? Yeah you guys on my belly button here. Um, um yeah, and then start to um, kind of climb up on them a little bit more. So yeah, of course, you know, I just came back into the corner. Then, of course, um, we got the boy, of course, Leo out here with his Charizard. Um, we got Astro Dragon Knight and stuff like that, of course. You know, Leo's like, you know, I gotta help out, use the Air Slash, help out a little bit more. Then, of course, um, they beat Pokemon Ray, who then Leo's still like, being like, okay, Spirit Bomb speech, I'm gonna go, you know, give help my, uh, my energy, gotta help out these people in the gallery. So yeah, then, of course, you know, Leo, um, you know, go along with the little thing, of course, as once goes when you help out, you know, a typical Ash thing, pushing up the champion with the gallery gene. So yeah, pretty early stuff. This is more like ending arc thing. Then of course, you know, they start to go through the air and stuff like that, of course. Then of course going so yeah, I'm trying to track down more of uh, you know the ground level um in the in her car and stuff like that. She's just rolling because I remember in the um the part here we're gonna kinda see um some more little stuff for that. Um so goes goes kinda get worried, you know, calling guys she makes sure he was okay. Then of course um there um you know um flashback to Sony and stuff like that. Um typical stuff there. Then of course um you know, Ash and Leo to make sure they're okay and stuff like that. So Ash and Leo, of course, gonna suffer um hit, hit more of the sky level or um they stuff all the game max stuff. But of course going on your more ground level trying to figure out what's gonna go on. And that's pretty much the end of the episode right there. Of course, you know, when Pokemon are going to Dynamax, so Ash and um Leo are gonna focus on that while Sonya and of course um Leo are gonna go more for ground level stuff. So yeah, pretty much the end of the episode, like I said, I wasn't gonna try to spawn the end of you because I don't really need to. Um, so yeah, you guys want a little bit of my skin down there, <laughs> my belly button, but of course, um, <laughs> oh no, I'm not gonna edit it out, it's just a little stupid stuff I like doing there, so yeah, belly button, Woo. oh yeah, um, I get a little stupid stuff, I saw some skin now, oh, but they're monotized, I'm just kidding, but yeah, um, oh, my back is killing me right now, but yeah, gonna go ahead and end the video here, my full thoughts for it was really cool, my full breakdown, so I should know now, so if I'm um, so like that, like I said, I don't really need to spend all day on it, but it was actually pretty good, because we saw the Amazana and Zyken, or Zakin, I don't know how you pronounce it yet, that was pretty good stuff right there, of course. Yeah. Um, you know, Astro and the Sword Pokemon, um, go get the Shield Pokemon, you know, color code scheme and stuff like that. Of course, the evil, um, ambition arc of these guys. So yeah, um, again, I don't know the full names of them, again, haven't played the games yet, I'm not trying to explore or anything like that, even though I just see the character designs. Don't really fully know the names yet, but I still want to kind of go into the game and stuff like that. I cannot wait to probably play these games. Yeah. See so you guys later, though. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Great life. Oh, good job. Again, though, this is just part one. So, got part two and three left for this home hold in the dark, Darkest Day arc. But I heard Lucario and Sinner Race are going to be in it. Even though I clearly think this in the calendar, they're going to take those evolutions for next year for 2021. The calendar and stuff like that. They do a video for that as well. But yeah, going to go ahead and end it here. I'm um, pretty good. You know, quick you know, episode analysis, you know, so I break down and choose the right girl. Now, it. But yeah, um, like I said, pretty good stuff right there. Of course, we've got Leo coming in because, you know, um, would be, you know, low key, um, I guess, you know, first part mid finale ish. Um, not really mid finale. I'm just kind of going with speculation right here because, you know, um, just again, doing those little stuff. Again, it's still like more of an ending arc thing. But at the same time, Sun and Moon kind of did that too, where we had like Rosumi and stuff like that, you know, with our Pokemon going on. And that we had like, you know, Team Glide did come in 5,000 times. It could have been like a mid season finale thing. So it's final thing. But yeah, of course, you know, as you go counting, you know, you know separate Pokemon counterparts. So yeah, again, we'll probably see more of them. Just, you know, a little hint, it's like teaser, what's going to go on. We're never going to get Mewtwo because, you know, the whole teaser again. But it's like, I feel like it's a whole different episode. But that could be a great battle itself, go catching like Mewtwo. That'd be kind of awesome to see. Um, I know everybody's gonna be hyped for that because everybody still loves me too. So yeah, I can't wait to see more Zakin and Zamazeta. Um, or Zakon or Zykon. Um, again, I don't know how to name like that. But yeah, pretty good stuff right there though. I do actually like it though. So yeah. So what you guys think for yourselves? I did actually like it. Like I said, a really quick review. Just talking, so I was running on about my, about my full thoughts for the episode. Again, that was pretty cool though, of course. You know, when it comes out for, you know, English and stuff like that. You already know I'm gonna watch it anyway still, even though I know a whole bunch about it. So, so you guys are though. Again though, what's up?